calls for the impeachment of President Bush in 2006 and President Trump following the Mueller report earlier this year. Uh, this time is different. Uh, why did you impose? Why did you oppose impeachment in the past? And what is your obligation to protect our democracy from the actions of our president now? Thank you. I thank you for bringing up the question about because when I became speaker the first time, there was overwhelming call for me to impeach President Bush on the strength of the war in Iraq, which I vehemently opposed. And again, I again. I, I say again, I said, said it other places, I, I, that was my wheelhouse. I was intelligence. I was a ranking member on the Intelligence Committee uh, even before I became part of the leadership of Gang of Four. So I knew there were no nuclear weapons. Oh, sick. So, like, you knew that the president and, and White House were just actively lying. That's pretty tight. What a weird thing. Maybe you should fucking impeach yourself, Nancy Pelosi. Also, can I just simply point out something here? Uh... Like, what, what is she about to say? I, I really haven't seen this, but what? She's like, oh, we knew that it was really bad and we didn't do it. Like, what? what? Just imagine if the American government actually ran uh, as it supposedly is supposed to do on paper. You know what I mean? Like, imagine if the American government actually ran in the way that, uh, in the way that it's supposed to, as it's supposed to run on paper. Like, where we actually impeached presidents over war crimes. Oh, my God. That would be insane, dude. First of all, we would have no presidents, okay? We would have no presidents, which would be tight, uh, which would be pretty cool. Um, let's see what she has to say, though. Let's see what this Yas Queen has to say about you don't uh, about uh, of illegal occupation you of your Iraq. Father, the devil. I see. In Iraq, it just wasn't there. They had to show us. They had to show hey, the gang before all the intelligence they had. The intelligence did not show that uh, that that was the case. So I knew it was a, a misrepresentation to the public. But having said that, it was a, in my view, uh, not a ground for impeachment. Uh, that was, why? they won the election, they made a representation, and to this- the spirit of Why? Justice. You love why? your father the Thank devil. you, Nanaka. Why? Four months, Paul, keep it up. Has this is so three. stupid. If, 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 the, if there is not grounds for impeachment for like literal multiple trillions of dollars costly wars that were completely illegal, and based upon uh, false information that you are admitting that was false information at the time that you had knowledge to, if we can't impeach presidents on that, why the fuck would we impeach Donald Trump on anything? Doesn't this completely destroy your argument? This makes no sense. Oh yeah, $6 trillion war on terror that has been insanely costly, both to our coffers and also to American citizens, and also uh, has caused geopolitical instability worldwide, like liter literally has... Uh, propped up additional terror cells all around the world that threaten our allies. That is not an impeachable offense, but what? Like uh, Donald Trump being, uh, Donald Trump trying to collude with a foreign nation to to uh, dunk on his political opponents is? I mean, it is. They're both, they both are. So how could you say that something that is significantly worse than that, though? How could you say that something that is significantly, infinitely worse than Donald Trump colluding with Ukraine, like openly colluding with Ukraine, which he did, uh, to to dunk on uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden uh, is is impeachable, but this isn't shocking. Let's see. Let's see what else uh, she's supposed to say. Let's see. Day people think people think that um, that it was the right thing to do. If people think that Iraq had something to you do with 9/11, I justice. mean it's as appalling you what they did. The uh, but I did, people and I said if somebody wants happy. to make a case, you bring it forward. Uh, but I, I they had impeached. Bill Clinton for personal indiscretion and misrepresenting about it. Impeached him. Some of these same people are saying, oh, this doesn't rise to impeachment. Were the, right there impeaching Bill Clinton uh, for, uh, for being stupid in terms of uh, uh, something like that. <laughs> I mean, I love him. I think he was a great president. But being stupid in terms of that and, and, and what would somebody do not to embarrass their family. But in any event, um, and that's so they did Bill Clinton. Now they want me to do George. I just, I just didn't want it to be a way of life in our country. As far as the uh, Mueller report, uh, there, there was a, a good deal of uh, the academics said, and a thousand, a thousand legal experts wrote a statement that said the Mueller report uh, is an impeach. What's in there is an impeachable offense. 
it wasn't um, so much of what's in the Mueller report will be more clear once some of the court cases are resolved. But it you wasn't so clear uh, to the public. You love your father, the devil. Thank you, Carney. Um, Thank you, Poet Polo, for the great con. Is she just like, is her brain just fried? Like, I'm confused. Are, are all old people just, are they tapped out completely? Like, all old people in politics have just, like, completely destroyed their brains as all doo-doo? Is that what's going on here? Because uh, this is, uh, this is rather alarming. Uh, the way that uh, Nancy Pelosi is handling this. And also her callbacks to the Mueller report. Uh, shocking. Shocking misstep, I think, politically. Uh, probably signals well to her liberal base. But if you're, but that liberal base already wants Trump impeached. So shut the fuck up about the Mueller report, which plays awful, awful at this point to uh, people in the middle and, and uh, people definitely on the Republican side because uh, people mistakenly presume Trump uh, innocent of the, all the uh, contents of the Mueller report. Uh, to, to tie the Mueller report back to this instance where, like, there is a, a case to be made is shockingly bad. I don't know why she's doing this. Uh, it, it doesn't even make sense from, like, a liberal, I'm trying to win the impeachment argument point of view. Uh, really weird. I don't know why she did this. Also, I think it's, it's fucking awful that, that she would even mention George W. Bush's horrendous war crimes. One of the worst administrations of all time okay of all time one of the most deaths uh and and one of the worst administrations of all time one of the most irrational illegal uh, uh causes of chaos around the world uh for her to turn around and and in the same conversation about impeaching donald trump say well we didn't impeach george w bush because i was politically a coward and i waited for someone else to assume the mantle is just so weird to me um but i guess it also is in line with uh nancy pelosi's current experience uh, as she routinely talked about how she did not want to impeach Donald Trump, or she would even say uh, things along the lines of, well, you know, Donald Trump is just trying to impeach himself. Uh, he's just like, this is a gift to him uh, because she did not want to impeach him originally. It's just terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. Um, I don't know why Nancy Pelosi is is doing this. Uh, it it like doesn't even make sense from like a liberal point of view. God, it's so fucking stupid. Okay, let's keep going. The Ukraine just removed all doubt. It was self-evident that the president mis uh, undermined our national security, jeopardized the integrity of our elections as he violated his oath of office. There's just... You, you, that's something that cannot be ignored. So... Uh yeah, this is trash. This is an incredibly, this is just the dumbest fucking statement. It doesn't even make, like, when I hear statements like this, I am so confused because it doesn't even make sense from a, like, the political point of view for, of, a, of a liberal who is in support of Nancy Pelosi. It just kind of goes against, it contradicts her own supposed ideals that she presents. So I, I don't understand it. Um, I don't understand it at all. If she were to say, like, what's the point that she's trying to make that uh, we should have impeached uh, George W. Bush, but we didn't because we were cowards and it's a mistake that we don't uh, want to do again? Why? Why does she connect it back to George W. Bush? That's like literally gifting the Trump administration a, a, a parachute to exit out of this conversation. Like the Trump administration could turn around and be like, to, to turn around and take an actual hardline stance against George W. Bush and say, listen, um, we shouldn't have gone to war in Iraq. This is something that he ran on already. He could literally turn around and say, we shouldn't have gone to war in Iraq. These Democrats didn't want to do anything. They didn't want to uh, depose or they didn't want to uh, impeach uh, George W. Bush back then for a war that was insanely costly and insanely unpopular. So it's politically viable to, for Donald Trump to literally speak out against Iraq right now. Uh, for him to turn around and say, like, Nancy Pelosi knew that he was lying and didn't want to impeach George W. Bush, but now they want to impeach me over some bullshit? Like, Trump could literally say that. Um, he could actually turn around and say something like that. And it's, it's really weird that, that she would just openly talk about this on, on a television. I, I don't understand it. I want to hear what Sam Cedar had to say, though. Someone was saying that, like, he was mauling over this. Um, so let's take a look. 
Sam Cedar, Nancy Pelosi. Is it up already? Is the clip up already? Does anyone in the chat have this info for me? Can someone find me the timestamp on the on the live show, maybe? Oh, there it is. The Bush administration, which lied this country into a war of choice that killed hundreds of hundreds of thousands of civilians, killed thousands of American military six thousand to be exact personnel, um, miserated tens of thousands more, cost trillions of dollars, and continues to be a a crap show. Here's Nancy Pelosi on a town hall. I guess this was last night, right? So, uh, Speaker Pelosi, uh, you resisted calls for the impeachment of President Bush in 2000. This time. And what is your... Thank you, Han, at places on the Italian... We already listened to it, so I'm pa passing through uh, it. Uh, Damn, what Sam didn't did pause it. To I, but <clears throat> what she just said there was astonishing. I mean... Frankly, she should be impeached. It was a, did she say a <laughs> That's misrepresentation. What I said. That's so funny. The, the, the first thing he said that was exactly what I said. I was like, well, you should be impeached for that statement. <laughs> God, I love, I love Sam.